guys welcome back to let's talk by george well this is a different video apart from the rom review now i have booted a android 13 rom okay let us go to the about phone section and uh, let me show you so basically you can see uh, this is the android version 13 it is on the latest uh, security update and um, so the fact is it it it's a it's a headache i mean cts certification or google play store certification is a headache so i'm going to show you how to um, make your device certified using uh, magisk so basically i have booted the rom so this is a first a fresh installation as you can see i have not uh, installed any of my favorite applications so let us go to yasnat safety net checker so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the safety net att attestation and as you can see it's a fail right so what really happens is uh, since this is the freshly booted rom and since you have flashed the magisk what you're gonna do normally is install the magisk application so i have already installed the magisk application so i'm going to show you because um, once you if you are actually flashing the magisk along with the rom you won't get the apk file so what you need to do is you need to go to the storage maybe your sd card where you have stored the apk file and install it manually so i'm going to install the magisk application again i've already installed it so this is how you gonna do it because you won't see the magisk app uh, app in your app drawer uh, without you installing the magisk so let us take the magisk okay so what really happens is once you it, it's a since it is a fresh installation um you will have to perform a reboot so what you need to do is you just click on this ok button and do a, a reboot from the uh, for the magisk itself because if you are not rebooting it will not work properly so once you have installed the apk file please make sure to launch the app and from the app itself you have to do the reboot we have finished rebooting the device so let us go to the magisk okay so let us select the magisk and as you can see we are actually having the latest version of magisk this is the 25.2 so what you really need to do is there is a setting app icon on the top um, right hand corner so you click on it or tap on it now there are a couple of options under the magisk uh, subheader and you can see that this is not enabled what you need to do is you just enable the sig disk sigisk not only sigisk enforced denial list and uh, tap on the configure denial list thing and on the top right hand corner you can see three uh, three buttons uh, along with the magnify search option so you click on the show system app now um, when magisk was actually introduced or magisk have introduced sigisk sigisk it was told that you don't need to enable the um, the the hide thing for the or deny list configure the deny list for google play store and play services it it's going to automatically hide it or something like that but it won't work if you do like this way so what you need to do is you need to search for the play store and play services okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this search button and i'm going to put in play right so here we have so basically what you need to do is you need to um, configure the deny list you need to select this option make sure to select the entire thing uh, otherwise what really happens is if you are not uh, if you are not actually uh, clicking on it it will only just enable the gms but you need to enable the entire option same case with the play store so we have configured the deny list and um, it is time that we do a reboot then only it will um, actually configure the deny list now this is the simple way uh, but let us see if it is going to certify the play store or else we will have to use some modules to make sure that the rom get certified using the magisk so what we are going to do is we are going to perform a uh, reboot so let's uh, do a reboot now rebooting uh, after in a configuring the deny list and all so let us try to see if 
it the um the set fix is going to fix our problem so what we are going to do is we are going to use this yasnac and run the safety net attestation so it's a pass but to be honest with you it's actually going to create some problem because your play store will say that it is not certified so let us go to the play store and uh, try to see it device is not certified so this is an another issue okay so basically see um i was showing you uh, the google play store app being saying that uh, it is not certified so what we are actually going to do is we are actually so going to solve that issue so what you need to do is you need to go to settings uh, applications and uh, click on this uh, see all 21 application and uh, enable this thing show system and you search for the play store and play services so what we are going to do is we are going to click on play and um, get the play services one uh, and uh, clear the storage and cache so click on the storage and cache and uh, tap on the manage space and do the clear all data thing so i'm not actually going to click on the button i mean tap on the button since it will it may actually crash the screen recorder so i'm not going to do that i'm just showing you how to do this so coming back again search for play and uh, go to play store and uh, storage and cache you click on clear storage and make sure to clear the data for both the items like uh, play store and play services sometimes i mean there are people who, uh, who tell that it is uh, it is okay if you clear the play store um, data it will solve the issue but sometimes uh, what i have noticed uh, noticed is that it won't uh, it won't do the i mean uh, it, it won't actually um, solve the issue so um, what you need to do is once you finish clearing up all the data for both play store and play services do a reboot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a reboot then only then only it will download the latest application or it will only re uh, download or re-update the application then only it will become play store certified so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, reboot the device now so once you clear all the data make sure to reboot the device now we have finished the reboot so this is the moment of truth so let us go to the play store sometimes you know even though rebooting your device maybe you will have to wait for few um, few minutes to uh, re-update the application the play store application let us go to the um, play store settings and try to see the thing is certified or not so basically this is the way that you make your play store certified or fix the google cts profile mismatch now this is the easiest way that i've shown to you sometimes if the same thing is not working you may have to flash a magisk file um, that i will do it in a separate video but 99 percentage of the rom will solve the issue in the above set method so you'll have to do some reboots you'll have to perform the play store um, data or play store storage cleaner and stuff like that so it will actually fix the issue so guys i hope you have really enjoyed the video maybe it was actually uh, helpful for you so i would like to thank you for watching my video and please make sure to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss a, a, any future updates thank you